How you doing, fam? -bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and I can't wait to share the new details about the X670 motherboards. AMD Zen 4 processors have so much power and potential behind it, you won't believe the type of specifications that these motherboards will feature. I haven't been this excited since the Z690 motherboard releases. Intel has a lot of competition now that AMD is catching up with PCI Express 5.0. And wait till you hear the other features that these motherboards will have. Manufacturers are coming out with a lot of different specifications that are available now. And I can't wait to personally share with you because soon these motherboards will be released. I'm gonna tell you all the different manufacturers that I have listed. I have MSI, I have ASUS, I got Gigabyte. I even have Biostar. They even have specs that are being released. You can expect a lot of these motherboards to be released as soon as later this month to about next month. And once they are released, you can prepare to get your hands on AMD's newest processor that is Zen 4 powered. MSI had released their specifications for their X670E ATX motherboard. It has 10 layers of PCBs and two ounces of copper. It's a 24 plus two plus one VRM design, which is a large improvement over the X570, which is only 14 phases, which is nearly a 50% increase. MSI will also feature a 105 amp design with a 24 pin connection, which will have eight pins and dual six pin connections. So that way it can provide power delivery. That's right. So if you have any type of phone that takes super fast charging, such as a Samsung device, your phone will do super fast charging, which is pretty amazing. And not only that, it is also beneficial for transfer rates. Now get this, this is what really excites me because a lot of these newer motherboards will have it and that it will feature four NVMEs, which has speeds up to PCI Express 5.0, which means that your speed will double over 7,000 megabytes per second to 14,000 megabytes per second. That is amazing. Can you imagine having that much speed on your PC? You'll also be able to add up to 128 gigabytes of DDR5 memory of 5,600 megahertz and higher. You'll even have three PCI Express expansion slots by 16, so you can even run dual video cards. If you run dual video cards, they'll run at eight times speed compared to the 16 times speed. MSI wasn't the only one that wanted to release their weapon. ASUS had some really amazing specifications. For ASUS, they will release the Crosshair EATX X670 Hero. ASUS wanted to come out on the light to show that they have 2.5 gigabytes connection of ethernet speed, and they even have up to 10 gigabytes for connection for ethernet speed. And that's depending on which model you have. If you have the extreme model, you can get 10 gigabytes, but if you don't, you'll get the 2.5 gigabytes. It really doesn't matter if you're a gamer. Uh, 2.5 gigabytes is plenty, honestly, in my opinion. But if you wanna go for the 10 gigabytes, go right ahead. That is great for you content creators out there. But right here, I will go over ASUS's Crosshair Hero X670E. It has an 18 plus two phase design with 110 amps, similar to their Z690 sister. Hopefully we don't run into the infamous issues as the Z690s with the memory chips because we all could remember how much of a pain that was when the polarities were all switched up. Their quality control is definitely gonna be a lot more on the higher end. They do not wanna run into the same issues as they did before because you don't want them ruining their reputation as it is because ASUS was the go-to brand. But anyway, enough of the rambling. ASUS will always have the great features such as USB flashback. It will have up to nine USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which is plenty, and it will feature two USB 4.0 ports, which are really USB-C, and it will also have power delivery that can go up to 60 amps. So you have plenty of power to charge up any of your smartphones or wireless devices that does have super fast charging, such as Samsung devices. I'm just so glad we're getting rid of that dreaded USB-A. Hopefully it will be gone forever soon enough where the day can't come soon enough for USB-A to just disappear off the face of the planet because it would be great once everything is USB-C and universal. ASUS's Crosshair will also feature Wi-Fi 6E and it will have Bluetooth version 5.2. ASUS will also have two NVMEs, which will have PCI Express 5.0 speeds. And that is exciting enough to 
try out AMD's newest Zen 4 processors. Imagine 14,000 megabytes per second of solid state drive. ASUS will also have generation two ARGBs. And most importantly of all, they will bring over the features that they did with their Z690 boards. The X670 boards will also have those quick release latches, which is excellent. The screwless NVMEs are a really nice feature. The latches for the even your graphics cards when it comes to PCI Express 5.0 is really convenient. You just hit that latch on the side and you can easily pull out the card instead of trying to squeeze your finger down there to try to open up the latch. But the really nice thing about Asus's boards, I can tell you they have always been excellent in quality. Uh, hopefully they will continue making quality motherboards. But I gotta say, Gigabyte has been stepping up their game a whole lot because they released some very interesting details about the specifications. It's definitely come up in the ranks as a surprise to even me. And this company comes from Shindian in Taiwan, which really makes me excited because I got a ton of fond memories there. Gigabyte is a very trusted company. They're coming out with four different X670 models and they will introduce their new Extreme motherboards, which will be their new flagship. The Extreme motherboard will feature eight plus two plus two phases for VRM. They will have up to four NVMe PCI Express 5.0 slots, so you can take advantage of those glorious speeds. And Gigabyte will have a very great feature, especially for your content creators out there, because this is one that I personally like so far because it has up to 10 gigabytes of Ethernet speed. God, Florida. I hope you catch up with your internet. Hopefully, ATT fiber spreads a little bit quicker because Xfinity, you're killing me. And Gigabyte has also Q Flash on their BIOS. You don't have to install your CPU, you don't have to install your GPU, or even your RAM to update your BIOS which is a really nice feature, especially if there is some sort of critical update that you need to do prior to installing any of your components that you would like to. So it makes it a lot easier and that helps prevent any issues. So it's pretty ingenious the way Gigabyte came out with this idea. I personally love it. Hopefully I see it more on their devices. What really stands out about this motherboard is if you really care about cooling, because I know these motherboards will get hot. I know AMD's new processor is pretty hot and the GPU. So these devices will keep getting hotter and hotter because we are going to get a lot more power out of them. So it does have up to 10 fan headers to help with the airflow, which is something that we can use when it comes to building PCs. Now it doesn't have as much layers of PCB as it does with MSI. They contain up to eight layers for their PCB boards. They also do have two ounces of copper as well on them. What is super impressive to me that it features up to 21 USB ports. And no, I'm not kidding, up to 21 USB ports. It does contain USB 4.0 in a couple of those ports. So you can get that power delivery as expected in USB-C form. So for those of you who are thinking about switching over to Gigabyte, I can completely understand. Of course, it's gonna have DDR5 and it will have PCI Express 5.0 in two slots. If you can power up your RTX 40 series or AMD, Radeon 7000 series cards, whichever graphics cards of your choice, you can, can take full advantage of this motherboard and it has every type of feature that you would possibly need, especially for content creators, for gamers that might be a bit overkill because this is their extreme board. You can even look for the mid-tier motherboards and they would probably be a better fit for you on that side of things. And I got to talk about Biostar because they even wanted to share the specs for you out there, especially for those who are a budget PC builder. And there's nothing wrong with that because Biostar does make some really good motherboards and they do hold up with their quality and they're great for you gamers out there because this is more if you just want to just game on your PC, you just want the basics, you just want to go into the next generation of PC gaming. Biostar might be the one for you. Biostar actually has up to 22 phases for the VRAM, and it even has two PCI Express 5.0 by 16. Biostar even does feature expansion slots for NVMe 5.0 if you so choose to, if you want to take advantage of those amazing speeds. I mean, who doesn't want to double up their speeds from 
PCI Express 4.0. Firestar does offer up to 11 USB ports, which are USB 3.2 version 2. Now, the only downside compared to the other motherboards, it does not feature USB 4.0. Oh, I did notice on this motherboard, but that's okay. You can always have an expansion slot in the future. If you want USB 4.0, which won't be hard, it will just more than likely connect to one of your PCI Express slots. If it's something that you're not really looking for and you're just looking to get a bunch of motherboards. So that way you could get AMD's Ryzen 7000 series, or you can take advantage of GeForce RTX 4080s or 4090s at full speed and full PCI Express capacity. So fam bam guys, do any of these motherboards sound interesting to you? I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that is interested in PCs, make sure you share this video with them. And also if not part of the big wonderful fam bam already, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. For all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.